so hi uh, my name is mahesh working as a senior software engineer on java and android related technologies so in the previous uh, sessions i discussed the architecture of android and what is meant by android and what are the features of android so in this session so we'll discuss what android consist what are the major components of android okay the complete android application development or android is depend on four components the four components are one is activity activity service broadcast receiver and content provider so these are the four major components of android so one is activity service broadcast receiver and content provider the complete android application development depends on these four components activity service broadcast receiver and content provider okay so we'll discuss the first thing so what is the first one activity so activity means a single screen in the application with ui components user is going to interact with the device through activity so activity means what every single screen is nothing but one activity okay so user is going to interact with the device through activity component okay so every any every single screen is nothing but one activity so i'll say this is an activity a single screen in the application with some ui components how the user is going to interact with the device through activity component so this is an activity so this is an activity every single screen is nothing but one activity so this is an activity every single screen is nothing but one activity a single screen in the application with ui components user is going to interact with the device through activity component so how the user is going to interact with the device definitely user need to interact with the device with some with the help of some ui components okay activity means every single screen so with some ui components is nothing but one activity it is a java file so i'll explain you once again every single screen is nothing but one activity with some ui components okay so user is going to interact with the device through activity component so that is the first one every single screen in the application with ui components is nothing but an activity it is a java file activity is a java file so for activity so for every activity we need two files one java file and one xml file it's not mandatory xml file is not mandatory you can create the user interface in java also no problem but id is providing Uh, the XML support to design the user interface. Okay, for uh, for every activity, we need two files: one Java file and one XML file. Remember this. We'll discuss in depth about what is activity, activity life cycle in uh, in the next sessions. Okay, so up to now, activity means a single screen in the application with UI components. User is going to interact with the device through activity. Okay, so that is about activity, and the second one is service. service means a long running background process without any user interaction with user interaction we called as activity without user interaction we called as service service means a long running background process without any user interaction we called as service okay let us take the best example just enable the wi wifi walk on the road whenever the wifi network is available you will get a notification call open wifi network is available so how your device recognizes wifi is available so are you interacting with your device wifi is available wifi is available wifi is available no there is an background process is running continuously to get that wifi status so that background process we called as service a long running background process without any user interaction we called as service the best example is the wifi status your network status next a media player so once if you start the media player it is going to play in the background you don't need to interact with that one okay so that is a best example for service a media player an fm you don't need to interact with that one so once if you start fm player it is going to start in the background process Okay, that is also the best example for service. A media player and FM. So getting a Wi-Fi status, getting the network status. There are a lot of 
examples for service a service means a long running background process without any user interaction we called as service with user interaction we called as activity without user interaction we called as service so that is the second component okay a long running background process without any user interaction we called as service so what is the next one broadcast receivers so broadcast receivers are registered for system announcements meaning for example if you plug in a headset to your device on top of your device notification bar you will get on headset symbol how your device recognizes headset is plug in so this is a charger symbol by default this is a charger symbol once if you connect the charger immediately it is going to change the symbol to like this so how your device recognizes charger is connected okay once the usb connected you will get a notification usb is connected so how your device recognizes usb is connected let's take one more thing so now my device is in active state now my device is in active state so once if you click on power button once if you click on power button the device is going to be entered into sleep state so how your device recognizes power button is pressed that's why enter into a sleep state so all these are broadcast announcements so broadcast receivers are registered for system announcements for example if you want to perform any operation when the headset is plugging in your application so where you need to write the logic how to get that system announcement headset plugin announcement with the help of broadcast receivers so broadcast receivers are registered for system announcements so here in your device when you plug in a headset immediately on top of notification bar you are going to get one headset symbol so they are getting the broadcast announcements in the application so once the broadcast uh, once the headset is plugged in so they are getting one broadcast announcement with the help of broadcast receiver and they are displaying one icon on notification bar so headset plug in charger connected charger disconnected power button pressed next camera button pressed volume button increased volume button decreased all these are the best examples for broadcast receivers so broadcast receivers are registered for system announcements the best example are headset plug in charger connected charger disconnected and power button pressed these are the best examples for broadcast receivers and the next one is content provider so content provider is used to share the data between multiple applications content provider is used to share the data between multiple applications so why you need to share the data okay in android you cannot share the data between two applications okay in android you cannot share the data between two applications let us take in my device there are two applications are there one is x application another one is y application one is x application another one is y application these are the two applications in my device the y application the x application is having some data x application is having some data the data is stored in sqlite database x is having some data the data is stored in sqlite database the y application want to access x applications data this is a requirement y application want to access x applications data but here it is not possible in android directly we cannot share some other applications data in you cannot share you cannot get some other applications data in your application this is not allowed in android you cannot share the data between multiple applications in android so let us take this example x application is having some data y application want to access x applications data but this is not possible in android let us take the two applications are one is contacts another one is whatsapp the two applications are one is contacts another one is whatsapp contacts is having some data in whatsapp application you are getting the contacts data how it is possible it is not possible in android right you cannot get some other applications data into your applications this is one of the security feature in android just now we discussed but here whatsapp people is reading contacts applications data how it is possible it is possible with the help of it is possible with the help of content provider if the application provides content provider some other applications can access the data 
otherwise a some other applications cannot access the data so meaning here context is providing content providers or not yes context is providing content provider so that's why whatsapp people is reading the data otherwise whatsapp people how whatsapp people can read the data it is not possible in android so here context is providing content provider if the application provides content provider then only some other applications can access the data otherwise directly we cannot access the data okay so content provider is used to share the data between multiple applications in android one of the security feature is directly you cannot get some other applications data into your application it is not possible in android but that other application provides content provider then you can access that applications data already in android some applications are providing content providers one is contacts call log you can read device settings information and you can read device media information okay so these are some of the examples who are providing the content provider you can you can share your your applications data also you can create your own content provider to some other applications okay so these are the four major components of android the complete android application development depends on these four components the complete android application development depends on these four components okay so one is activity service broadcast receiver and content provider the complete android application development depends on these four components okay so these are the four major components of android but as per my experience having the knowledge on these four components is not enough to build the complex enterprise applications i'll, I'll tell you once again these are the four major components of android but having the knowledge on these four components is not enough to build the complex enterprise applications on android apart from this what we need to build the complex enterprise applications i'll discuss in the next session thank you